Hello fabulous Pisces, welcome to your horoscope for the month of May 2020. Looking at life and love, I am your astrologer Nadia Shaw, thank you for being here. Well, it is going to be as we move towards the middle of the month that fully four planets will be retrograde, including Venus. That makes for an overriding reflective quality for all of us out there. Most signs out there are definitely going to be feeling this, and that certainly includes you as well. At the same time, though, it feels like your world is opening up. There's a sense of excitement and enthusiasm for what you could be moving towards, which may make it actually hard to connect with others as they start to turn inward, at least right away. Now that energy will change. As we navigate later into the month, your energy does become a lot more private, more home focused, and that is where you find stability and strength. So there's a lot to talk about here. It is going to be right around the seventh of the month that we will have a full moon. Now I just love this full moon for you. It is happening in fellow water sign Scorpio and in a part of the sky that has to do with adventure. It has to do with understanding your place in the world and taking a more expansive view, a more expansive perspective. Now, whether that is bringing a greater philosophical understanding to your current circumstances or whether it is much more practical in terms of you wanting to take on an adventure. Whereas as we start this month, there are a lot of people right now who are under some form of social distancing or social isolation. I feel like you are making plans at this point as we get to this full moon to be out in the world in some way. That beautiful full moon will be speaking in supreme harmony with Neptune in your sign. Now that energy alone is like dream come true, magical kind of energy, and you are feeling very connected to magic at that time and feeling as if things are changing in a way that feels inspired and blessed. At the same time with Mercury standing across the sky from that full moon, things may be moving very quickly to open up bigger opportunity to you. Now for some, this is going to be a sense of you putting things into place that will allow you to manifest bigger and better in the fullness of time. So I'm thinking about things like, maybe you're thinking about going back to school, maybe you're thinking about travel or making progress in terms of the experiences and different experiences, new experiences that you want to call into your life where it is that you've been on a path that hasn't really felt right for you, this is where you start to understand how you can start to make adjustments so that you can align with a larger and higher purpose for your life. So this is the preparation place. This is where you get excited, where enthusiasm starts to set in for all that there is that you can do and all that you aspire to do. And I feel like in that way, it does make you one of the more fortunate of the Zodiac with a sky like this, because it is you that has hope that may be inspiring hope in others. It is you at this full moon that is feeling especially optimistic at this time. It is as we navigate later into the month, right around the 22nd is when we will have this month's new moon. Now this new moon is a very different energy. As I said, whereas that full moon takes you out into the world, on the surface it has to do with things like long distance travel, immigration, citizenship, higher learning, legal matters, political matters. That's the full moon I'm talking about here, right? So it's all about you being engaged with others, whether that's coming together at the full moon, whether you're making the plans, it is very outwardly focused. It's excited about the future. The energy of the new moon though is different. It becomes more isolated. It becomes more private. It becomes more about what's happening at home with your family of origin. Now what I do really love about this new moon is that it is speaking in supreme harmony with Saturn. That is an energy of stability and success. If it is that you have a home-based business or you work from home like a lot of people have had to as of late, if you've wanted to make the move of working from home more permanent 
or it is that you have a goal or a dream and you want to start working on it in your own time and space well it is this new moon that brings blessings on that front and whatever developments occur at this time they have the potential to last to help you to continue to build success for a long time to come but if it is that you were looking to change your home circumstances buying selling moving a uh, new roommate I would say this new moon can bring with it stable progress and adjustments. If you were hoping for positive developments where it came to your family of origin, your parents in particular, this can also bring that stability that you are hoping for. Now, where it comes to matters of love, this is the month when Venus does go retrograde mid month. And if you saw the Venus retrograde special horoscope, which I encourage you to do, have a look at the link in the description below. But it was there that I spoke of how this month and this Venus retrograde season in May especially amplifies confusion and uncertainty. But for you, it is this Venus retrograde happening at the very foundation of your sky, which brings with it a certain nostalgia for the past. And it is past loves that become that much more likely to enter the picture. Now at the same time, right around the middle of the month, Mars is gonna enter your sign. And that brings with it courage, that brings with it passion, and it brings with it a certain bravery and motivation to connect with other people. And there's a very physical quality about Mars. Yes, having Mars in your sign can make one especially uh, gutsy, and yet there's a desire to connect with other people to feel something deep the way that passion and desire only can. And that motivation in and of itself makes for the courage I speak of. So if it is that you are open to meeting someone new, the motivation certainly is there. At the same time though, even with the confusing quality, the thing is that sometimes we need that more dreamy energy, that faith-filled energy, even when there's no good reason to believe we want to believe, and so we do. Sometimes we need that to just allow us to put us out there. And that may very well be the case for you at this time. But as I said in the Venus retrograde special horoscope for you, you know, um, Venus retrograde season is well known for bringing past loves back into the mix. And that becomes that much more likely, if not most likely for you. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, this can be a powerful time. You're learning about this person, you're learning about their past, and that may bring with it some mixed feelings. And yet, for all that, there's that desire to be connected that may have you, well, being a little risky, taking a, a few liberties, I will say, as part of getting to know them better. For those of you who are in an established bond, I just want you to be a little bit mindful of a couple of things. One is with Mars in your sign. Sometimes with this energy, it can bring with it impatience with your partner. So just be mindful of that because that is energy that's asking you to take ownership for what changes you desire, how it is that you wanna direct and move your life. And when it is that you're not owning the power to change, well, that is when the energy can become rather frustrated and that can translate to frustration towards your partner. But for all that, especially if it is the case that you live with your partner, well, that can be where it feels like love is dreamy, yes, but also not clear at the same time. If it feels like you or your partner want to make changes on the home front, but you're not necessarily on the same page, just know that that feeling is going to be there as you navigate through this month as part of this larger Venus retrograde season. What I love about this month for you, well, I'm gonna say that worldly full moon, I think a lot of people are starting to feel kind of antsy, ready to engage the larger world, and that is going to be that much more true for you. There is a strong desire on your part now to think of what it is that you desire to experience, what it is that you want to put into place so that you can change your life in even bigger ways in the fullness of time. And that will have you not only taking risks, but also thinking very quickly 
on your feet, taking inspired action to change your life for the better. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes, including the Venus retrograde special horoscopes, and so much more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.